hi hello friends good morning so it's been a long time i did not post any new videos uh, and sorry for that so today i have been brought the new video for you that will give you information about how we can enable tls 1.2 protocol and disable the legacy protocol which are ssl 2.0 ssl 3.0 tls 1.1 and TLS 1.0 so this video will be very helpful those who are professional so <laughs> let's start so there are two ways which by which we can achieve this today I will show you the first way in next video I will show you the second way so the first way is a manual way which we can do using the registry so what we can do is we will browse this path just note down this path i will also uh, uh, comment it in my description so this is hk local machine system current control set control security provider s channel protocol so this is the registry path where we have to go okay guys so what we will do is we will create keys for each SSL or TLS protocol. So let's do for SSL 2.0. Maybe on your servers you will get these keys already there, but here, since it, these are not here, so we will create them and then I will show you how to enable and disable them. SSL 2.0 created. Let's create SSL 3.0 and let's create quickly. SSL TLS 1.0 then create TLS 1.1 and create TLS 1.2 okay so we have created all these protocols so now what we have to do is we have to disable ssl 2.0 3.0 tls 1.0 tls 1.1 because these all are legacy protocol and are vulnerable so what we have to do is we have to enable just tls 1.2 and disable all these so what we will do is just click on the ssl 2.0 click on key we will create server and we will create find key let's go to the server key right click on it in this area right click on click on d word value let's first make the d word value with name of enable so in ssl 2.0 we have to disable it so the default data is zero so it is disabled now the second we may create disabled by default make it one so what does that mean disabled by default Disable by default and number one. This means we have enabled this. This will be disabled by default. So same we will do for the client one. Enabled this quickly. Disable by default this is one so we will do this for all these right for 3.0 tls 1.0 tls 1.1 let me show you one more Server. find perfect now do the same thing click on here create a divert value 32 bit 
and this zero then create the another one disabled by default give it one all right so this is done do the same for client enabled let's name it enabled and zero already there then the second key disabled by default one we are done with the legacy protocol then you can do the same thing with tls 1.0 and tls 1.1 now let's come to the tls 1.2 because we have to enable this so what we will do is right click on it do the same thing create one key with server create another key with name of client and server create the word value 32 bit name it enabled so since it is enabled we have to enable it now make sure we have the value put here is one because we have to enable it this is enabled so by default should be zero so we are not going to disable it so we will keep it same thing we have to do for client enabled give it one disable by default disable by default is zero so we don't have to disable it so it will remain zero so this is the way we can achieve it and you guys can also do this so why we did this for both server and client because the server where you are performing it is a server where other people are requesting maybe a web server or something like that similarly that server could be a client or making connection to any other server or domain control or anything so that will behave like a client as well so in both way we have to uh, do this so i hope this video will help you in next video i will uh, guide you how you can uh, do this using the another method and uh, Please subscribe, share and like my video and uh, press the bell icon so that you will get the notification for my next videos. Thank you.